So let's talk about naming keys in an array. So I showed you how to create an array, and when you create an array, all the values in the array automatically get numeric keys. So they get keys that start at zero, go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and continue up as you add values to the array. One of the problems you're going to get in the coding world, though, is that a lot of times you get confused with what you're doing. So if you're trying to add information to an array, or more importantly, if you're trying to delete information from an array or modify information from an array, keeping track of whether you're supposed to be going for index key three or four can get confusing. Because remember, when you're dealing with an array, it automatically starts at zero for the index keys. And so you can get confused. So you think, okay, uh, so I need to be modifying uh, the key three but key, is key three actually key three, or is key three actually key four because of, or key two because of how the, 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 the numbering goes? And that's one of the ways that you can get into a big problem. And so what can make life a lot easier is if you just name what the keys are. Instead of the, the keys being named as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you can have the keys be named name, and city and profession. So let's say if this is a CRM software, uh, instead of having the keys be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you put first name in 0 and last name in 1 and you know email address or whatever in 3, what you can do is you can simply name the keys and say for key named name, this is the name. For key named email, this is the email, so on and so forth. So then when you go to modify or when you go to pull information, it's a lot easier to plug in, I need key name versus I need key zero, or was it one? Oh, crap, I added something. Maybe it's two now, right? That's one of the problems that you can run into. So let's go over to the computer so I can show you how to name the keys and make your life a hell of a lot easier as a coder. So this is a simple script that I created called ArrayKeys.php, and as always, I open it up with the PHP tag. Now, as far as creating this array is concerned, there is a new way to create an arrays, but again, I'm using the old way because this will be most compatible with everybody using almost any version of PHP that they're using. So there is a different way to create an array. Uh, it looks a little bit neater, it looks, it's a little bit easier, but this will work for everybody so once you're comfortable with this do a little bit of research on the new way of doing it but basically uh, all we're doing here again is we're creating uh, dollar sign info so this is the variable that we're going to be creating for this array and we're going to set it equal to an array with named keys now what I did here since white space doesn't really matter a whole lot in PHP I separated this out to different lines again to make it easier for me to read but if you wanted to put this all onto a single line you could do that too so what we do here is we use the array function we do array we open parentheses and then for the keys now what we're going to do is we're going to do single quotation mark whatever you want the key name to be close single quotation mark so this is how you name a key then what we're going to do is this little equal sign greater thing kind of think of it more as an arrow it's not it's not really like a, a comparison operator like we've used before think about it more as like an arrow so we want this to be that type of deal. Uh, so we just put equal sign, uh, the, the greater sign, the greater than symbol. And then for the value for this key, again, what we're going to do is we're going to do a single quotation mark. We're going to plop in whatever it is. So here we say Bob, and we close with a single quotation mark. We then end this particular key with a comma. So that separates the keys. We then go down here, and again, for the next key name, uh, single quotation mark. So for this, it's city, close single quotation mark, equal, greater than sign. And then for this here, we're going to say Baltimore, single quotation, single quotation, Baltimore in the middle, and then we have a comma. Then for the profession, again, if this is like a CRM software or something like that, again, single quotation mark, profession, or whatever you want to put, close single quotation mark, equal, greater sign, and then we put an IT. Now, do you realize here? Uh, that again, there's no comma at the end since it's the last one. And then how we close this out is you use the parentheses and you use the comma. So this, oh, this is the same as this. 
Again, if you want to put all of this on a single line, you can do that. The white space really doesn't matter. I plotted this out here just so it's a little bit easier to, to see. Then what we're going to do is we're going to print out all the information in the array. Again, it's a troubleshooting step just to make sure what's in the array is what we think is in the array. And to do that for, for what we're using now is we're going to use print underscore r parentheses and then we're just going to plug in info so this is going to plug in the key name or it's going to print out the key names and the key values for what's in info so we can verify what's in there is what we think is in there of course uh, semicolon then what we're going to do is again we're just going to separate this out in HTML so we're going to print a break line like we normally do now when we're going to print a key value out of this array what we can do is we can use a name we can actually use a name of the key value then a number that we might get confused by so we can say print dollar sign info bracket so it's a bracket and then for the key name uh, single quotation mark whatever the key name is so again this is a lot easier if I want the name I plug in name if I want the city I plug in city if I want the profession I plug in profession I don't have to sit there and go crap is city is you know is city one or is city two or maybe city's three ah right you know you, you don't get confused you just plug in name and that, that's all it is again close close uh, single quotation marks close bracket of course semicolon and then you close out the um, close out PHP then when you go to run this and there we go so now we have the array so this prints out print R gives us this so it is an array the first key name is name and in there we have Bob the second key is city and in there we have Baltimore the third key is profession and there we have IT so we can look at this and make sure this is what it's supposed to look like and then as we did here, we want to print out the value for name within info, and so that then prints out Bob. If we want to go here, and let's say we wanted to print out what the name for the city is, I got file, save, array key upload, and then if you refresh, now it's Baltimore. So this is how you can put information into an array uh, for, let's say, one particular, like a variable for like a user. So their first name, their last name, all of that information. And then you can simply pull out what you need. It makes life a lot easier when you're trying to think about things. So that's all there is to naming keys in an array. Uh, whether or not you need to do this with your particular script, it really depends on what you're doing. If all you're doing is gathering things like names and then wanting to be able to sort names, you probably don't need to deal with naming keys. But especially if you're doing, again, some, some kind of some kind of uh, script where you're trying to collect a number of bits of information essentially for one variable this is a good way you can do that with an array so again their first name their last name you can have all of that information and then it's very easy to pull that information out because now you can simply say okay for you know dollar sign person I want their last name instead of having to have you know a thousand different variables to collect all this information and deal with it so that's really all there is uh, to uh, to naming uh, keys in an array that's how you do it again again this is one of those things there's a newer way to do this if you want to research it uh, you should do that uh, but this what I showed you now should work on whatever version of PHP you're using